in this video we are going to discuss about job sequencing with deadlines so we are going to solve this problem using greedy method uh, assumes we have n jobs are there where each job is having a profit pi uh, as well as each job has a deadline di so p1 and di are nothing but uh, profit and deadlines of the first job p2 and d2 are nothing but profits and deadlines of the second job likewise okay if we complete a job in in a particular deadline okay then we will earn the corresponding profit if we can't complete the job by its deadline then we can't earn the profit so here the point is we can earn profit if and only if we have completed the job by its deadline so here uh, uh, in order to complete the job execution uh, we have two constraints are there uh, we have uh, only one mission in order to execute all these jobs suppose if there are multiple missions are there then multiple missions can executes multiple jobs simultaneously but here the constraint is we have only one mission is there so with the help of uh, this mission only we need to execute all the jobs and the second constraint is, is if here the mission requires one unit of time in order to complete the execution of a job okay so in order to complete the first job execution the mission requires one unit of time in order to complete the second job execution mission requires one unit of time like that so here our objective is uh, to complete all these jobs with the maximum profit okay so by its deadline okay by its deadline we have to complete uh, all the jobs or some subset of the jobs with the maximum profit okay uh, so let us solve the problem uh, before solve the problem let us see the algorithm or procedure in order to implement this approach job sequencing with deadlines let us see the algorithm here the first step is we have to arrange all the jobs arrange all the jobs in descending order in decreasing order in decreasing order based on the profit values based on profit values so highest value will be arranged first whereas lowest value will be written last okay based on the profit we have to arrange all the jobs in the descending order and the second step is uh, select the first job uh, based on the order okay select the first job and uh, execute it and execute it by assigning a slot by assigning a slot so what is a slot uh, let here let the deadline is 3 let the deadline is 3 then we can have three slots such as we can have 0 to 1 slot 1 to 2 slot as well as 2 3 2 to 3 slot so let us assume that here uh, the process deadline is or if a process deadline is or then we have to execute the process by assigning the slot r minus 1 r let the process deadline is 3 then we have to assign the slot 3 minus 1 2 okay so 3 minus 1 is nothing but 2 whereas what is r value 3 okay so first we have to assign the slot 2 comma 3 Suppose if this slot is already occupied, then we have to arrange the slot r minus 2 comma r minus 1. r minus 2 comma r minus 1. So here what is r value 3? So 3 minus 2 means 1. 3 minus 1 means 2. So next we have to arrange the slot. This slot 1, 2. Suppose if 1, 2 this slot is also occupied, then we have to arrange the slot r minus 3 comma r minus 2. So what is our value 3? So 3 minus 3 means 0, 3 minus 2 means 1. So likewise we have to arrange the slot. Okay. 
in order to execute the job the machine requires only one slot okay the machine requires only one unit of time okay so this is the second step and the third step is uh, so likewise we have to execute all the processes one by one okay so this is the algorithm we have to follow these three steps in order to implement job sequencing with deadlines here our target is we need to find out the optimal solution the best solution the best sequence okay uh, let us solve the problem so let us assume that we have five jobs are there five jobs are there uh, first let us note down the profits so p1 p2 p3 so we have five processes are there five jobs are there so p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 are nothing but the profits of the five processes let the first process profit is 100 next 19 38 27 52 okay next let us note down the deadlines so d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 okay so here the deadlines are 2 1 2 1 3 okay so now we have to find out the optimal solution so with the maximum profit we need to execute all these jobs or some set of the subset of the jobs okay so here what is the first step we have to arrange all the jobs in descending order based on the profit values so here what is the first higher value higher profit 100 so the first process is 100 okay p1 process p1 process so next one 52 so 52 is nothing but the last process that is nothing but p5 process next one is p3 process 38 38 is the next highest value 38 is nothing but p3 process profit okay third job profit okay here 100 is nothing but first job profit 52 means last job profit 38 means third job profit okay next 27 is nothing but fourth job profit uh, next 19 is nothing but second job profit okay so likewise we have to arrange the uh, arrange all the profits in descending order okay so let us write down now so p1 first process profit is 100 next last job profit is 50 52 Third job profit is 38. Fourth job profit is 27. Last job profit is 19. Okay. So according to that, we have to write the deadlines also. D1, D5, D3, D4, D2. So here what is D1? 2. What is D5? 3. D3? 2. D4? 1. D21 okay D21 so these are the profits now we have to assign all the jobs to the corresponding machine so machine assigns a slot to them and executes one by one okay so for that let us draw the table so here the table uh, here we have four columns are there the first column is uh, assigned slot assigned slot the second column is uh, job selected so which job has been selected the next column is uh, action so what is the action so whether we are allocating any slot or whether we are rejecting and the last column is we have to note down the profit okay so initially uh, there is no slot is allocated so we have to write as none so none indicates that initially no process is allocated any slot okay next job selected so first which job will be selected 100 is nothing but what? First job. First job profit. So first we have to select J1 job. So what is the action? The action means which slot we have to give. Okay. So here what is the maximum slot? 3. So 3 means we will be having 3 slots. 3 slots. So 0, 2, 1, first slot. 1, 2, 2, second slot. 2, 2, 3, third slot. Okay. So here the first job deadline is 2. So here uh, we can assign either 0 to 1 slot or 1 to 2 slot. So it is our choice. We can assign either 0 to 1 slot or 1 to 2 slot. 
So we, here the formula is this one. R minus 1 comma R. We have to use this formula. So here what is R? R is nothing but deadline. 2 minus 1 means 1. So 1 comma 2. So we need to ascend this lot. So 1 comma 2. So now 1 comma 2 slot is free. So we can assign J1 here. We can place J1 in this lot. Okay. So which slot we are leaving? 1 comma 2. 1 comma 2. So what is the profit? So what is the profit? 100 is the profit. 100 is the profit of the first job. Okay. Next. Assigned slot. Already we have assigned 1 comma 2 slot. So we have written like that. So what is the next job? Next job. Next job is 52. 52 means job 5 profit. Okay. So the job selected is J5. So for J5, which slot we have to allocate? Here J5 deadline is 3. J5 deadline is 3. So 3 means, what is the formula? Uh, 3 minus 1 comma 3. So 3 minus 1 means 2. So 2 comma 3. 2 comma 3. So here 2 comma 3 is completely free only. So we can assign that slot. Suppose if 2 comma 3 is already occupied, then we have to use R minus 2 comma R minus 1. That means 1 comma 2. So likewise we have to check 1 by 1. Okay. But here this slot is free. This slot is free. So we have to assign. So what is the job name? J5. So J5 will be assigned to 2 comma 3 slot. So which slot is assigned now? 2 comma 3 slot. So what is the profit now? Here the second job profit is 52. So already we have a profit of 100. So 100 plus 52 means 152. 152. Next the assigned slots are. So already we have 1 comma 2. As well as 2 comma 3. 2 comma 3. So 2 slots are already allocated. So what is the next job? So next bigger profit is 38. 38 is nothing but the profit of third job. So the next job is J3. So which slot we have to allocate. So here the formula is. 3 minus 1, R minus 1 comma R. So what is R value? Uh, so here 38, this deadline is 2. So 2 minus 1 means 1. 2 minus 1 means 1, so 1 comma 2. So we have to allocate 1 comma 2. But 1 comma 2 is already occupied. 1 comma 2 is already occupied. So we have to use a formula called R minus 2 comma R minus 1. Or uh, directly we can write. So 2 means... We can assign either 0, 1 or 1, 2. 1, 2 is already occupied. So we have to assign 0, 1 slot to the corresponding job. So here this 38 is nothing but J3. So J3 should be allocated to 0, 1 slot. Okay. So what is the slot we allocated? 0, 1 slot. So what is the profit now? So here the third process profit is Third job profit is 38. So 152 plus 38 means uh, 160 plus 30 means 90. 190 is the profit. Okay. So let us write the allocated slots now. So 1 comma 2, 2 comma 3. So before that we have 0 comma 1 is there. So first we will have 0 comma 1. Next 1 comma 2, 2 comma 3. So these are the essence slots. So what is the next job? 27. So next profit is 27. 27 is the profit of the fourth job. Fourth job. So J4. J4. What is J4? What is J4 deadline? 1. 1. So 1 means we have to assign 0, 1. But 0, 1 is completely occupied. So here the action is reject it. Reject it. Why? Because we can't place the corresponding job in the corresponding slot. Okay. Before 0, 1, uh, we don't have any other slot is there. So what is the profit? Profit is 190 only. What is the last job? The last job is what? Second job. Second job profit is 19. So here the assigned slots are same only. 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3. So what is the last job? J5. So this is nothing but, 19 is nothing but J2 process. Second job, okay. Second job. So what is the second job deadline? 1. So 1 means we can we can allocate to 0, 1 slot. But 0, 1 slot is already allocated for J3. So reject it. Why? Because it is not possible to place that in a particular slot. Okay. So profit. Okay. 
profit will not be changed. Same profit, 190 only. Why? Because here we can't execute at J4 as well as we can't execute at J2. So profit won't change, same previous profit only. So here we can say that the job sequence is J1, J5, J3. The job sequence is J1, J5, J3. So here the mission execute the jobs in this order with a profit of 190. With a profit of 190. So this is about job sequencing with deadlines.